so when we are exchanging or purchasing that one the rba rate should be considered 60000 per transaction whichever is lower whichever is low we are going to consider 400 transaction of conversion dollar into indian rupees of rupees 1 lakh 10000 per transaction per transaction the taxable basic fare will be 2 crore 66 lakh 25000 Warm welcome to 6MBBS in the subject we are discussing goods and services tax, the unit, time, place and value of supply. I am Professor Rajesh L.A. from Department of Commerce and Management from Vidyashram First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. In our previous session, we have discussed and solved some problems on transaction value and 15 sub clause 3, rule number 27, rule number 30 and 31. In today's session, we are going to solve problems on 32 sub clause 2, 32 sub clause 3, a theoretical part as well as problems we are going to solve in today's session. Rule number 32, what it says, purchase or sale of foreign currency including money changing. The rule is for when we purchase or sell any foreign currency, including the money changing if the process has taken place. So what are the rules and conditions are they for that one? Case A, for a currency when exchanged from or to Indian rupees, so we are converting the foreign currency to Indian rupees, for purchase of foreign currency by service supplier, RBA reference rate at the time minus buying rate into total number of units of currency to be exchanged. This is a formula what we apply. RBA reference rate at the time. So when we are exchanging or purchasing that one, the RBA rate should be considered less whatever the buying rate it is there. We have to minus that one into total number of units of currency, whatever we have made. For sale of foreign currency by service supplier, selling rate, say, a totally different for purchase it's different and reference rate minus buying rate for selling selling rate minus reference rate into total number of units so let us understand the concept and we have make out format what we have for rule 30 amount one what we have a foreign currency sold into rba reference rate of that currency rate to indian rupees amount two foreign currency bought into rba reference rate of that currency to Indian rupees, gross Indian rupees, amount one or two, whichever is less. In these two, whichever is less will be considered and that will be considered as a taxable value. On that, we are going to charge 1% on the gross Indian rupees, whatever we are going to get here. The terms and condition, what we have for rule 32 sub clause B, for exchange of amount up to 1 lakh, up to 1 lakh, 1% 1 of the gross amount of currency exchanged or minimum of rupees 250, minimum of rupees 250, in these two, whichever is higher will be considered. Next, if it is above 1 lakh and below 10 lakhs, 1,000 plus 0.5% of the gross amount of currency exchanged. Up to 1 lakh, it is 1,000 and above that, whatever the amount we're going to get into 0.5%. If it is above 10 lakhs, then 5,500 plus 0.1% of the gross amount of currency exchange or maximum of rupees 60,000 per transaction. 60,000 per transaction, whichever is lower, whichever is low, we are going to consider. Next. Note what we have here, rupees 1,100, rupees 1,000 up to 1 lakh currency exchange transaction, 1,000 is applicable, thereafter for remaining amount of 0.5% is applicable. 5,500 up to 10 lakhs exchange transaction is applicable, thereafter for remaining amount it is 0.1%, it is applicable. Let us take a problem here for rule number 32 sub clause A and 32 sub clause B here. First it is sold 10,000 US dollars at rupees 65, purchased 900 euros at 1 euros rupees 75, purchased 1,400 GBP 
at 1 GBP, 104, sold 65,000 units of currency XYZ at 1%. So XYZ is rupees 21, sold 15,400 US dollars for 9,000 GBP. The reference rate they are given here, US dollar is 64, Euro 79 and GBP 108. So we have to calculate what is the value of taxable supply what we have here. First case, sold 10,000 US dollars. Sell the formula we have to apply because sold means selling here. Yeah. Selling rate minus RBI reference rate. My selling rate is rupees 65 and RBI reference rate was 64. So 65 minus 64 into 10,000 that is 1 rupee into 10,000. So 10,000 is the value. When we are purchasing, RBA reference rate minus buying rate. So I'm, RBA it is 79 and I'm buying for 75. So 4 rupees is the difference. 4 into 900. So it will be 3600. It's very simple to calculate. So again, RBA reference rate minus buying rate. 108 minus 104. 4 into 1400. So it will be 5600. In the case 4. 65,000 units of currency, one bond that is 21. The taxable value of supply will be 65,000 into 21 into 1 by 100. So 13,65,000 into 1 by 100, 13,650 will be the tax amount. Selling again here, sold 15,400 GBP gross currency exchange here. So taxable value of service will be 1% of amount 1 or 2, whichever is less here. So amount one year, 15,400 of US dollar into 64, 9,85,600 into 1%, the tax is 9,856. In the amount two, 9,000 into 108, that is 9,72,000, 9,720. So in these two, whichever is less will be considered 9,720. The total of 10,000, 3,600, 5,600, 13,650 and 9,750 will be 42,570 is my total taxable value of supply. On this, we are going to charge 9% for central government and 9% for state government. This is the thing what we have here. So it is very simple. First calculate the taxable value and then levy the GST and it will be 3,831, 3,831. Total GST, I'm going to pay here 7,662 rupees is the GST payable. So, in the first case, selling rate minus RBA reference rate will get 1 rupee, 1 into 10,000, 10,000. In the second case, we are purchasing. So, refer RBA reference rate minus buying rate. So 79 minus 75, 4. So it will be 3,600. And in the third case, RBA reference rate minus buying because purchased 108 minus 104, 4. 4 into 1,400, 5,600. In the next case, we are selling the currency at 1%, 65,000 into 21 into 1%. So 13,650. In the next case, US dollar, for 64, 1% and GBP for 108 in these two, whichever is less, will be considered as a value. The total value will be 42,750. On that, I have to calculate 9%, 9%. That is 42,570 into 9 by 100, 0, 0, get cancelled. So, 4 divided by 10. 425.7 into 9 will be 3831, 3831. In the next concept, what we have here, we are converting the currency here. This is 32 sub loss 2 sub loss B is applicable here. 32 sub loss 2 sub loss B and what is the GST? 18% we are we are converting 800 transaction conversion of dollar into Indian rupees of rupees 27,500 per transaction. So case one here 800 transactions of conversion of dollar into Indian rupees per transaction is 27,500. So 1% of 27,500 will be 
275 or minimum of rupees 250 per transaction 800 into 2 lakhs whichever is higher so 275 or 2 lakhs so the highest amount we have taken as the value of supply in the second case 400 transaction of conversion dollar into Indian rupees of rupees 1,10,000 per transaction per transaction. So 1% of 1,10,000 will be 1,100 or, or 1 lakh. So whichever is higher. So 1 lakh will be the value of supply. In the third case, 350 transactions, 6 lakhs per. So 350 into 6 lakhs, it will be totally huge amount what we have here up to 1 lakh up to 1 lakh it is 1000 above 1 lakh it will be 0.5 percent have to add here so here 6 lakhs means up to 1 lakh and remaining means 6 minus 1 or 5 lakhs so now 1000 up to 1 lakh Above that one, whatever we have here, 0.5 percent above 1 lakh, that is 5 lakh into 0.5 percent. So 1000 plus 2500, 3500. So number of transactions is 350. 350 into 3500, it will be 12 lakh 25,000, the value of supply. So now this is how we have to calculate. Per transaction, it is 6 lakhs, it is above 1 lakh. For that reason, we have to consider this one. In the previous one, it was up to 400 transaction. The per transaction is 1,10 and you have 27,500. And in this concept, we have taken only the concept of first case and the second case. And the third one, it is above that one. Per transaction is 6 lakhs what we are charging. So in that one, the total amount value, it is coming 12,25. In the third situation, the number of transactions are 200. It is 6 lakh. Again, it is concept what we have here it is more up to 10 lakh it is 5500 above 10 lakh it will be for us 0.1 percent above 10 lakhs that is up to 10 lakhs what we have here 2 crore 50 lakhs into 0.1 percent will be 25,000 and 5,500 so 30,500 here so number of transactions are 200 200 into 30,500 61 lakhs so the thing whatever we have here just go through that one properly and convert that one into actual concept next we have here three and transaction 160 lakhs up to 10 lakhs it is 5500 above 10 lakhs it will be 0.1 percent so 1 crore 50 lakhs into 0.1 percent will be 15,000 plus 5,500, 20,500 into that one, 300. So it will be 61 lakh 50,000. So in the last concept, what we have here, it is 9 lakhs. So up to 1 lakh, it is 1,000, 0.5% above 1 lakh, up to 1 lakh, that is 8 lakhs into 0.5. So totally it will be 5,000 here. 5,000 into 250, it will be, 12 lakh 50. So total turn value, taxable value of supply will be 1 crore 50 lakh 25,000. That is nothing but 2 lakhs, 1 lakh, 12 lakh 25, 61 lakh, 61 lakh 50,000 and 12 lakh 50. The overall it will be 1 crore 50 lakh 25,000 is my taxable supply. So now on that one, on 1 crore 50 lakh 25,000, I have to pay 18% GST. For central government, it is 9%, state government 9%, 13 lakh 52, 250, 250. So totally, I have to pay here 27 lakh 4,500. So this is the amount of tax I have to pay to the government. Rule number 32, sub clause 3, it is for air travel agent where they are selling, booking the tickets for air travel. If it is domestic booking, 5% on basic fare. If it is international booking, 10% on basic fare, the taxable value and the GST payable will be 18% on the taxable. This is a rule what we have under 32, sub clause 3. And input tax credit for this one, we are going to get avail on air ticket will be if GST is opted on basic fare, then pay GST 18% on commission. So pay GST on basic fare, domestic booking is 0.9% and international booking it will be 1.8%.
now for both the above option itc is allowed fully if i want to get input tax credit benefit so then gst on basic fee will be 0.9 percent and international booking will be 1.8 percent let us solve a problem here where we are having sri sai journey airlines where 145 tickets has been sold each at 265000 in the month of may 2023 the total amount was we collected 3 crore 31 lakh 25000 which includes 65 lakhs for passenger to taxes determine the value of taxable and gst is 18% so now basic pay was 145 into 2 lakh 65 so 3 crore 31 lakh 25,000 less passenger tax 65 lakh the total amount will be 2 crore 66 lakh 25,000 so this will be my value of taxable supply and 10% on this amount on this amount 10% 10% on basic fare it is an international booking so it be 26 lakh 6,200 will be considered as value of taxable supply on 26 lakh 62,000 I have to pay the tax 18%, 9% for central government and 9% for state government. 26 lakh 62,500 into 9 by 100, 0, 0 get cancelled. So it will be 2 lakh 39,625 and 2 lakh 39,625. Total tax I have to pay 4 lakh 79,000. 250. This is the amount of tax what we have to pay to the government. So go through the problem easy. You can understand and you can write here. See, one ticket what we are selling will be 265 and we have sold 145 tickets. So it will be 145 into 265, 3 crore 31 lakh 25,000. And we have to deduct passenger tax. And the taxable basic fare will be 2 crore 66 lakh 25,000. The rule says for me here, it is 10% on basic fare if it is international booking. So it was an international booking only here because it is a Singapore. So now it will be 10% on 2 crore 66 lakh 25,000 where I have to pay the taxable value will be considered here 26 lakh 62,500 on this amount. I have to pay the tax 18% out of that 9% for central government and 9% for state government. Now, the next concept that I have given here, the basic fee collected for domestic is 52 lakh and international it is 68 lakhs. Commission received was 4 lakh 35 and incentive received for month is 65,000, service charges 40 and handling charges 10,000. Commission, whatever we have received here, 4 lakh 35, incentive, service, and all. If I add totally, it is going to be 5 lakh 50,000. On 5 lakh 50,000, we have to pay tax at 18% directly. So 5 lakh 15 to 18%, 99,000 is the GST payable. So now the basic fare, what we had, 5% of 52 lakh. So it will be 2 lakh 60. International booking, 68 lakhs into 10%, 6 lakh 80. Taxable value of supply of services will be 9 lakh 40,000. 9 lakh 40 into 18% service. So 9 lakh 40 into, so it will be 1 lakh 69,200. That is 9 lakh 40,000 into 18 by 100, 0, 0 get cancelled, 9,400 into 18, so it will be 0, 0, 8, 4 is a 32, 3 carry, 8, 9 is a, it will be 72 plus 3, 75 plus 0, 0, 4 and 9, so 0, 0, 2, 9 and 6, 1 lakh 69,000. 200. So 169,200 is the tax what I have to pay to the government. In the upcoming session, we are going to have 32 sub clause 4 and sub clause 5, theoretical uh, format as well as problems. A thank you and namaste to all 6MBBS students. Go through the session properly and understand the concept. You may get problem for 10 marks. Thank you.